everybody. Welcome back to another Last Draft Baseball Mystery Box Monday. And we've got the return of the Mystery Tins. We opened some of these a couple of weeks back. We were able to find these and hadn't seen any since. And now there's some more back out on the market. And for those who may have missed the first break of these, these contain the Japanese baseball cards. And a lot of people may not necessarily like it, but I can tell you this much. We are pretty jazzed that the Japanese product has made its way into the North American marketplace. And we're going to see what we get in this one. We've got 2022 Series 1. We'll tap it out. We also have NPB Chrome and NPB Regular. Okay, everybody, so we'll see what uh, we're able to pull from this one. We'll start off with the... Let's go with the Japanese Chrome Pack to begin with. So Japanese Chrome... 2021, we're looking for Munitaka Murakami, or maybe even a Shugo Maki. So certainly Murakami would be one that we would be wanting to get. And what do we got on the back there? That's a 1986. And that's something, oh, it's a Hanshin Tiger card. So I don't know what we have. Uh, and we kick it off on the front. That's Masato Morishita. For those of you who don't know, Morishita is a, to me, he's a legitimate major league prospect. He sits mid-90s. So that would be somebody to keep an eye on for future, um, possibly coming to North America. The next guy up, that is, what's that? Nunafumi Kazawa of the Yakult Swallows. That's his rookie card. The next one up is a Chinichi Dragon. That's Daisuke uh, Sabuye. I don't know much about him. Don't follow the that league, the Central League, as close. And our last one is Ryotaro Umeno. Umeno is not a bad player. He is pretty decent. Hanshin Tiger. Of course, that's on the, what is it, 1986 Tops design. So there you go there. We're also looking for Seiya Suzuki in the Hiroshima Toyo Carp uniform. So let's see if we can grab something out of this pack. And of course, we have a fat pack from Series 1 2022 Baseball. I'd rather see a Bowman pack if we could get one. There's Carter Stewart. For those of you who don't know about Carter Stewart, the former uh, player in North America here, obviously he was drafted a first-round pick of the Atlanta Braves. Braves couldn't come to terms, went to a junior college in Florida and ended up signing a, a nice contract with the Fukuoka SoftBank Hawks. So Carter Stewart is one of those guys. There is, who's that? That's Kendall Gen of the Oryx Buffaloes. Don't know much about him yet. We do a lot of the Buffalo stuff. We see a lot of those, but not him. There's a Tatsushi Masuda. Masuda, of course, with the Lions. He's one of their back-end pitchers. There is Soda Tanue, a pitcher for the Fukuoka Soft Bank Hawks. Another guy I don't know a whole lot about. There's Hiroto Kobakata, a shortstop, but he also can play in the outfield and uh, also everywhere else. So Kobakata can swing the bat a little bit. Had a nice year this year. Naoki Uesawa, Uesawa, and then we follow that up with a Chiba Lote Marine, Kiyo Takabi, and what do we have here? We've got a rookie card that is foil, and that is the infielder for the Swallows, and that is Motoyama. I don't know much about Motoyama, obviously, when you have some of their other guys in the way. There is Tomoyuki Sagano. He was a one time thought to be coming to North America. He was posted a couple of years ago. Nobody took him. There's Kaida Sano. Sano for the Yokohama Dana Bay Stars. There is Hugh Motoyama for the Tokyo Yakult Swallows. We just saw him a moment ago in the foil. There's Yuya Yanagi. We pulled a uh, numbered card out of five of him before. There's Shota Dobiashi. Shota Dobiashi had a nice season a couple of years ago. If I remember correctly, he was, he's was he got a very good-looking wife. His wife is a media personality or a movie star, something along those lines, in Japan. And there is Daichi uh, Ishii of the Tigers, his rookie card. And that uh, is his rookie, number 69, Daichi Ishii. Now we followed up with a fat pack from 2022. What are we looking for here? Well, how about a Wander Franco? Be more than happy if we could get ourselves a Wander. Any type of short print would also do the trick. And here we go. One the back we have... Uh, definitely not Wander Franco. It's Jose Ramirez. We'll see what else we get in... The back of the stuff. We kick it off with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. There's Garrett Hampson. Garrett Hampson of the Colorado Rockies. And then you've got Mike Zanino for the Tampa Bay Rays. Followed up by Cesar Hernandez. 
Adam Wainwright for the St. Louis Cardinals. I think his days are done. There's Sonny Gray for the Reds. Tommy LaStella for the Giants. Yasmani Grandel for the Chicago White Sox. We flip it over. We got Brandon Crawford for the San Francisco Giants. Got the Chicago White Sox team. They're all given fives. There's the Oakland Athletics. I've seen this one before recently. Daniel Bard, Colorado Rockies. There's a Nate Pearson. Nate Pearson of the Toronto Blue Jays. The often injured Nate Pearson. Now, how far is that? Tatis and Vladdy react to a T-Mobile home run. Oh, we got a flipped over card, and it's a Ronald Acuna card. What do we have for Ronald Acuna? Is that one of Ronald Acuna's numbered short prints? We're going to take a look at that. You can always tell on the back of the card if that is a short print or not, and you can tell by the number on the lower end. I can't see it enough right now. It's not giving me the zoom-in feature that I want it to be. Let's see if I can get it really, really close. No, can't quite tell. I'm going to have to look off to the side. But I have a feeling that Acuna is one of the short prints, and if it is... And I'm pretty jazzed about that one there. I'm pretty confident that Acuna is one of the short prints in Jose Ramirez, MLB stars for the Guardians. All right, everybody, let us know what you think in the comments section about another mystery box. If that is a short print, that might have saved the day for us. Because I don't know if we got enough out of the Japanese stuff or even from the other things to make it worth our while. 40 bucks for one of those tins. This guy here might be the one. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks for watching again, and be sure to support our channel. We appreciate you for all your time watching.